Good morning guys, it's about 8.30 and I'm about to go for a run. I wanted to start off the vlog though. My glasses are really dirty. I wanted to start off the vlog because I filmed yesterday just like a bunch of random clips and didn't really get to talk about them. So I figured I would talk about them now, insert them now, and then we can start the rest of today. Yesterday I had a job interview. It was my first panel interview which was super interesting. I'd never done a panel before. I was interviewing basically for one hospital system but they have two hospital locations. They were interviewing me for both mom baby and labor at two separate hospitals. So it was me in a room with like six or eight people and it was so intimidating but I think it went well. I'm hopeful that it went well. They were all super nice. Said I'd be hearing from them soon. I had good feedback for my answers and the questions that I did like the questions I asked them so hopefully it's a good sign I don't really know but yeah um, I think it went relatively well so yesterday I did like a super crazy cleaning of our space which now it looks like it's a mess again but yesterday I did a bunch of cleaning but I'll insert footage right here to my interview the camisole like the tank top was from ross the white like lacy top was from burlington coat factory the pink cardigan was from burlington coat factory pants are from j jill i've had those for a while they're the only place that i can find dress pants that fit both like my butt and my waist and are short length because i have short legs and my shoes are also from burlington coat factory so that is what i wore i'm not like a pantsuit kind of girl like that's just not me so i didn't want to wear anything super out of my comfort zone but also wanted to look professional so that is what I wore and like I said I think it went well so I'll keep you guys updated for sure I actually got to have my first phone call with Connor this morning it was great I haven't talked to him in like almost a week pretty much super glad to report that he is safe and settled that was great it was nice getting to hear his voice and like we facetimed for a few minutes so it's good to see him and it was so funny because it's 8 a.m right now like I woke up as he called because he called me at 7 45 and he was like so how's your day been and I was like I just woke up like my day's just starting but for him it's already like dinner time so it's just funny I think he forgets about the time change I'm actually getting ready to go for a run I think you guys know I started running the day that he left for deployment and I'm trying to like keep this being a thing while he's gone it's really been helpful to have a routine and like a schedule keeping me busy and focused and not just like sitting around being sad i ordered a box of care of vitamins they send you like personalized vitamins what their little box looks like and you pull one out each day and it says hi abigail and there's like a little fact and then it has the five pills um if you go onto their website you can take a quiz this is not sponsored at all but you can go into their website and take a quiz and they let you know what vitamins are best for you so i got those and i'm gonna try them out i'm really excited i'll just show you my little setup so i've got my vitamins flowers and this chocolate two of the wives i posted about it on instagram but two of the girls whose husbands are played with connor came over for connor and i's anniversary and they brought me flowers and chocolate it was so cute and then these are the flowers that connor got me for our anniversary so beautiful i was so shocked i was not expecting him to send me flowers and it was so sweet especially because we weren't able to be in communication that day so so cute and a balloon hi guys so it is now 9 15 and oh my gosh i'm so sweaty it's never humid in colorado like it's super super dry here and it was so humid out i could feel it i could tell something was off in the air it just felt so thick 
and I looked and it's like 64 percent humidity and it's 70 degrees out which may not be a lot to some people if you like live in the south but dang that's hot for here so I'm back I'm freaking tomato face I'm so sweaty but the run was good it's my fastest time yet I took a minute off my time woohoo that's super good and now I'm gonna take my step let me tell you what I got okay so I'm taking vitamin d and vitamin b12 which i know are things that my doctor has told me to take before because i'm like severely deficient in both so i'm taking vitamin d vitamin b12 a probiotic for gut health and a prenatal oh and i'm also doing these like gut health sticks those are upstairs i forgot to grab those but no i'm not pregnant but something that like if i took one thing away from ob class it was this and my ob teacher said that anyone of age of reproductive age that could potentially be having kids should be taking a prenatal whether they're trying to get pregnant or not because then if you were on the off chance to like accidentally get pregnant your body already has been building up the vitamins that it needs so i personally felt like i should probably start taking one because i haven't been taking one and i'm trying to grow my hair and my nails are like i just got them painted but they're so they're so stubby and short it's really sad because they just break all the time so i'm hoping this will help too so gonna take those i'm doing true passion ketones today and i got my chocolate so i'm gonna mix up my ketones first initially i just fill my cup up like halfway with water only because i like to use my mom's frother to blend this i think it dissolves a lot better okay so i used her frother so i'm gonna add more water and ice just because trying to use that blender doesn't work when there's ice in it and i i want more water and i want it cold so and there you go it looks like orange juice, but it tastes like mango. Mm, I love that one. So good. So just back to what I was saying about the vitamins, you can go on their website and take a quiz to figure out what your needs are and where you probably are lacking in vitamins and minerals, and they will suggest what you should take. So. Okay, vitamins are in, got my ketones. I'm gonna eat my baby piece of chocolate. And actually, this is something that I should talk about. You guys know I drink ketones, I eat a low carb keto diet. It's just what works best for me and my body and when I feel the best, um, it helps me stay gluten free really easily because if I'm, oh, if I'm counting my carbs, then I'm more likely to stick to being gluten free like I need to be for my health than I am if I'm just eating all the carbs in the world because I'll just be like, oh, it's fine, I can eat a bagel and be sick and I'll just get over it. When in reality, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing what's best for my health and eating gluten is really bad for me. Connor's mom sent me this jar of chocolates and I have had a piece of chocolate every day um, sometimes more than one piece, not from her jar, but from the wives that came and brought me um, that chocolate and flowers for Connor and I's anniversary. I've been eating those too. So I've been having pieces of chocolate every day and still living like a lifestyle that I'm happy with and that's meeting my goals and that makes me feel good. And I just want people to know that like you can have everything in moderation, including moderation. You don't have to cut entire food groups out. Obviously I eat low carb, but that doesn't mean I don't eat carbs. Like that's not true at all. I have to cut gluten out because my body like can't process it, but that's a health reason. That's not a choice. You can live a life that feels balanced and fulfilled and is still meeting your goals and doing everything you want it to while also having moderation and like enjoying a piece of chocolate when you want to. Like it can all fit, it can all work. At the end of the day, you need to choose a lifestyle that's maintainable and that works for you and you enjoy doing. If I didn't, enjoy, if I was like a huge carb person and I love carbs, then heck yeah, I'd eat them all the time, but I'm not, I'm fine without them especially being that I have to be gluten-free. A lot of them I can't eat anyway. And so being low carb is easy for me because I love vegetables and meat and cheese and salads. And I love heavy cream in my coffee and I don't have a sweet tooth. This piece of chocolate is like the most sugar I need in a day. I'm just not a sugary person, but that's what works for me. And that's what I like. So if you are trying to live a lifestyle or eat a certain way that you don't enjoy, I'm melting this chocolate as I'm holding it, um, that you don't enjoy and it isn't benefiting you or bringing joy to your life and you feel like you can't live a fulfilled life, then don't waste your time, don't do it. Find something that you enjoy and you can stick to and still meet your goals and be happy while also like living a balanced lifestyle and enjoying and eating what you wanna eat when you wanna eat. 
that's the beauty of these drinks, these ketones. They put your body into ketosis within an hour of drinking them. And the whole point of these drinks is that the people that created them recognize that there's so many benefits to eating a keto diet and your body being in ketosis, like even just new cell generation amazing brain health like there's so many things i could go on a rant but the whole point of these drinks is that they recognize that being on a keto diet is really hard and really hard to stick to and actually getting your body into ketosis can be really difficult from just a nutritional standpoint and so these get you there within an hour without having to eat a keto diet like it's it's yeah that's that i'm going on a rant but I guess my whole point is that I never want anyone to feel like just because I do something they have to do it. I genuinely enjoy being low carb, but like I still have fruit and I still have vegetables and I still eat high fiber and like you can still enjoy yourself while meeting your goals. I guess that's my point. You don't have to do like crazy stuff. You don't have to like only drink celery juices or only drink green smoothies or eat salad every day or chicken and rice and that's it like you don't have to do these crazy things and you can still meet your goals that's all i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna stop ranting hey guys so it is now 10 30. i changed clothes i just put on some shorts and one of these like little crop tops that i got from tj maxx that i posted on the last haul but i was sitting outside just trying to get some sun because it's supposed to be thunderstorming for the next like week straight starting tomorrow so i just wanted to like get some sun while i can and I was sitting out there and I'm getting really nauseous and I realized that I took my vitamins and didn't eat anything and I think it's like making me sick and I don't feel good at all right now. I'm gonna make some food. So it's now 6.15 and I'm really out of breath. I just ran up the stairs, but I'm actually planning to take a shower really quick and then going to, I'm probably going to eat dinner with my brother. We've been hanging out all day and it's been so fun. We went to Target and then we came home and we've just been like chilling in the basement watching shows and just kind of spending time together. And it's actually been super nice just like hanging out the two of us and chatting. But I want to show you all what I got from Target. It's not a lot. Um, I got Daisy and some greenies. They have this new one in blueberry flavor. I've never seen that. I'd only seen the ones that were like unflavored. She loves these. And that's the one complaint the vet always has is like, on her way back teeth, she has like tartar buildup. And so I try and keep these on stock. They're just so expensive. As you guys can tell, I've been wearing my hair curly more often. I'm just trying to embrace it as much as I can. It's a constant like learning process for me. I decided to get some new products to try. Oh my gosh, this like slid all the way around. I got this Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. And I've seen a lot of people say really good things about this brand so i figured i would try it and then i also got this the john frida frizzies brand and this is their dream curls daily stylizing spray gonna try these two and then the last thing that i got is a hair dryer i never thought i would own one of these because i have curly hair so i didn't think i needed one when i get my hair done at the salon they always diffuse it like if i'm gonna have them leave it curly so i bought this because for the last few days i've been using my brother's hair dryer and the diffuser attachment that came with his and it was just kind of a pain i felt bad like constantly having to ask him to use his hair dryer when they're really not that expensive i could just buy my own so i got this at target too i think it was like 30 bucks or something that is everything i got from target 